Everyone, this is Jasmine. Welcome, Jasmine. To the now, Jasmine and Reggie became friends. And then it was, uh, they got a little bit of sex involved. Uh, it's kind of like friends with benefits. But then one night uh, at a party, Jasmine slept with another guy named Kevin. Then two shocking things happened. First, Jasmine found out she was pregnant with her now two-month-old daughter, Jade. Aww. Then, secondly, Jasmine discovers Reggie and Kevin are best friends. Aww. Now, Kevin and Reggie both denied they're Jade's father. Watch. I am not the kind of girl who sleeps around. Me and Reggie wasn't even sleeping together when I had my one-night stand with Kevin. I even used protection with Kevin, but it broke. I never thought that I would even be in this position, but I know in my heart that Reggie is Jade's father. I had no idea Kevin and Reggie even knew each other. Now Reggie just throws it in my face and won't even see his daughter because he thinks Kevin is her dad. Jade looks like Reggie's twin. I am a trillion percent sure that Reggie is Jade's father. He hasn't done nothing for his baby, and I refuse to let Jade be denied by her father. So, Jasmine, when did Reggie find out that it was his best friend, Kevin, who I was the other no, guy? I would say no later than after I told Kevin that Reggie came so up to four, me. So you're, you're pregnant like four or five months by now. Yes, Maury. And then they find out they're best friends. Yes. And, it's, and, and, and so Reggie says, that makes sure that I'm not the father, because this guy, who was my best friend, and by the way, they kind of broke up as best friends, right? Yes, Maury. He claimed he, they, they had stopped talking and he had dropped him. He dropped me. He dropped everybody, Maury. He cut off all communication with me. Well, guess what? We gave Reggie and Kevin a DNA test. All right. This is what Reggie had to say. I know Jasmine's lying when she said she didn't know that Kevin was my best friend. Kevin and I have been friends forever, and I was really close with Jasmine. It's not possible that they wouldn't know each other. I don't know how Jasmine can say Jade is definitely mine when she slept with my best friend. That baby is too young to tell who it looks like. I've been thrown in the middle of a messed up love triangle with the baby dangling in the middle. Who knows how many other people she was running around with. I won't let Jasmine trick me into taking care of a baby when I know there's at least one other person that can possibly be the father. Well, guess what? We unravel tricks right here. We get to the truth. Here's Reggie. You know that's your baby. I don't even know why you're trying to get out of here. How you doing, so, so you, uh, so it's right to say that you all were friends. Yes. And you did, uh, you know, a little bit of here, a little yeah, bit Yeah, we there. did it. We did our thing. And then, uh, I guess you all did, weren't seeing each other, and she goes out to this party, and she tells you that she saw this dude, and then she got pregnant, and, uh, but she thinks that you're the father, not him. Yeah, she told me that. More look, I didn't believe it straight off the top. Right. When she told me who it was. Right. When she told me who it was, I went and asked. And when I went and asked him, at first, he said he didn't even know her oh. off the top. Oh. Then it comes back that you do know her, and you know it, you know what I mean? You knew that I was dealing with her. And you know, I, I, I just feel like that was completely wrong off the top. You can't sell we, I know the price. We were doing it more than once, Reggie. Right? Why did you even sit there trying to deny her? We did it more than once. I mean, that was a one-night one night stand don't make no difference, Jasmine. Okay, yeah, we used the rubber, so how you so even going to sit there? So I don't care. Rubber's bust. We didn't use rubber. Rubber's no rubber. bust like balloons. We didn't even use it no rubber. It don't make no difference. You can't sell it to me. I know the price. We did it more than one time. Whatever. Whatever. It's for the birds. We did it more than one time. Whatever. 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 Than one time. Right. So what? You think that baby looks like you? No. No? No. She no. Man, just that baby don't look like me, man. I don't care. That baby do not like me. Whatever. Boy, look. Can I go point at the baby? Can I go point some out? Boy, look. Right. Talking all the time. You can't have the whole seven. Look, this baby, this baby don't look like me. Have a seat. Not mad. Reggie. Not going for By it. the way, Reggie, if it is your child, you take care of it. Most definitely. More, I don't even have any kids. Okay. You know, I don't have any kids. If it's my baby, I will step up to the plate 100 This is what Kevin had to say. I had no idea that Jasmine had ever been with Reggie. 
Just because I'm friends with him doesn't mean I know every girl that he slept with. Just like I don't know every guy that Jasmine slept with. Jasmine and I use a condom. She said it broke, but I'm sure it did. I'm careful about putting it on and taking it off myself because I know how these women are out there these days. I haven't done a single thing for this baby because I know that it's not mine. Jasmine has even said that she knows it's Reggie. Reggie was with Jasmine way more than I was. I'm just here to prove to him that this is not my kid so he'll stop blaming me. Here's Kevin. Kevin, come on out. Hey, man. You know that's a possibility, that's your baby. You just got a possibility. You need to stop with that line. Man, whatever, man. I ain't trying to remember you. You was best friends all the time. So what? Man, I'm going to make this a little out of this. I ain't know y'all was just talking about it. I ain't trying to know that, Mike. Hey, man, straight up. I ain't know y'all was just talking about it. Straight up, man. You knew. You ain't back and told me you knew. What you talking about? Whatever, yo. OK. I get the feeling no matter what, you two ain't gonna make up, right? I'm saying I'm hoping we can move past this, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the situation may be. Cause he was my he was and he still is my best friend, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this this shouldn't come. He Reggie, feels why, he why feels. are you so upset at Kevin? Because he's lying. I'm telling you, look, he said he didn't know her. He came back and told me down in line. He knew who it was, and you knew I was dealing with Shorty the whole time. Come, they, I'm telling you, he can lie to y'all all he want to. I, I knew know who the she truth. was after the fact. You don't think you're the father? No. Well, guess what? Let's get the results. <laughs> when it comes to two month old Jade, Kevin. You are not the father. When it comes to two-month-old Jade, Reggie, you are not. Oh, my God. You said and lied to me all this time. I can't believe I came on TV for this, man. You know there's no forgiveness for this. Never. I just apologize. Man, I don't give a damn, yo. You can apologize to the scat man, to the scat turn black. That's the last time your ass will see me. And you can believe that. Now, Terrence was dating Amber for two short weeks. Now, think about this. Two short weeks. When she said the exciting news, she was pregnant. Terrence was a bit skeptical, but Amber assured him she was positive it was his child. So Terrence went to all the doctor's appointments. He was at the hospital when the baby was born. Today he changes diapers, feeds his daughter, loves her unconditionally. But when Ariana was just four months old, all of a sudden Amber tells Terrence she slept with two other guys. And that Ariana might not be his. So today, Terrence and the two other men have taken paternity tests. Only Terrence and one of the other men is here today. His name is Stefan. We're going to talk to him later. Two weeks. Exactly, two weeks. You know what I mean? And, and granted, within the two weeks, we was losing protection. So, yeah, you feel me? Yes. <laughs> But it kind of goes back. You got to understand the history here. Right. You didn't have a dad when you grew up. Nah, man. And, and that's another thing. You know, my pops was never there. I n never seen him, never met him, screwing. You know what I'm saying? But the option of me being a father to somebody, I'd never take that away. You know what I mean? E e even if I'm not, I hope that I am, but even if I'm not the biological father, man, I'm going to be this father figure for this child, man, because ain't nobody else doing it. You know what I'm saying? It's my baby right there. Yeah, for sure. Are you and Amber together? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we be together. Hey. I mean, because... What's going to happen if... Oh, man. man if we, this is not your child, do you well, stand together? Well, put it like this, man. We got our differences besides the child, you know what I mean? I wouldn't just leave because this child is not mine because I love this child, you know what I'm saying? And 
But if this baby's not mine, it's, it's, that's, that's, that's a tough thing to swallow because that's the reason why I'm here now, because of this baby. You feel me? We spoke to Amber. This is what she had to say. I'm here today because I made the biggest mistake of my life. I kept a secret with my boyfriend, Terrence. It wasn't until Ariana was two months old before I came clean to Terrence. And I told him I might not be the father and that there's possibly two other men. And there's nothing I can do about it. I think about it every day. And it hurts. Terrence is the best father in the world. He does everything with her. He feeds her. He puts her to bed every night. Every time he walks in the door, she lights up. She always wants daddy. Terrence is the first person Ariana sees when she wakes up. And I really don't want to take that away from her. I hope tomorrow that nothing changes and that it just proves that you're the father because you're the best father in the world to her. And Here's Amber, everybody. Let's bring Amber. What was the worst mistake you made? Lying to him. What's going to happen if it's if he's not the father? I hope to God he don't leave. I mean. I'm not leaving that baby regardless, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Regardless of what goes on, I ain't leaving that baby. Now, we've tested two other guys. One of the other guys isn't here. It's his friend. Before we meet Stefan, this is what he had to say. I don't think Amber's daughter Ariana is mine. Amber and I had a one-night stand. I never thought my mistakes would come back and haunt me. I think Terrence might be the father of this baby. The only reason Amber's saying something to me is because she wants money from me. Amber is a slut. If she would have kept her legs closed, we would never be here. For all I know, none of the guys tested can be the father. Amber, when this test proves that I'm not the father, please go on with your life, because I know I will with mine. Here's Stefan. Stefan, come on out. <laughs> Stefan, I assume you don't want to be the father of this no. child. No. Huh? Why would I? I don't know. You be bothered with her. Yeah, how you gonna say you wouldn't want to be the father if that's your seed? You I ain't mean, got no other choice to be the father of that right there. That I makes know. you less of a man not to be the father of that seed. Though. I mean, you ain't. It, I mean, you ain't it, gotta mess it, with her. That's if yours. If you're my child, then I'm gonna take care right, of her. Then but that's for the what I'm she was trying to hide, hide me from you, so she didn't want me to be, be in the picture. You want to tell him anything before I read these results? I love you. You know that I didn't do anything to hurt you at all. Let's hope not. Here we go. In the case of eight-month-old Ariana, the man who could not be here is not the father. In the case of eight-month-old Ariana, Terrence, you are not. Oh, I told you! I told you, yeah! <laughs> Yeah! 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 Come with the out of here. I'll let you. I knew this man. I knew it. Mama didn't raise no food on everything. Daddy can count on everything for real. For real. And I knew it. I knew it, man. I swear to God, I knew it, man. And in the case of eight month old Ariana Stefan, you are the father. Oh my God. I'm cool, man. Oh, for real, don't need come past me. Why? For real, why? You, you, you knew this. If I knew you it, I told you. Whatever, you knew it. You knew it. You knew it. That's why we here. Because you knew this, man. Now, what am I supposed to do, man? I got this bondage with this baby, man. That's why I was, that's why I came. If I wasn't gonna be a father, I wouldn't have never came in the first place. I was just trying to figure out if it was mine. You lost your spot. I think you lost your spot. <laughs> What's all that? What is all that? 
Are you trying not to get mad at him? Nah, man, I mean, I can't get mad at him. Like, what, what I need to get mad at this man for? He ain't did nothing wrong. See the one line? Everyone, this is Taylor. Welcome Taylor to the show. Now, unfortunately in the past, Taylor suffered some abuse. But she was finally able to get her life on track when she met her boyfriend, Armando. <laughs> then, then, three weeks later, Taylor discovered that she was pregnant with her now seven-week-old son, Kalik. Now, with all that joy comes some problems. Because there was a painful secret in her heart Taylor knew that another man named Brandon could be Kalik's father. Watch. It makes me feel horrible. I don't know who Kalik's father is. It was so hard being pregnant the whole nine months because I knew there was a possibility of Brandon and Armando being the father. Armando means the whole world to me. If he leaves because this baby is not his, it is going to absolutely crush my world. Emotionally, this whole journey has been heart-wrenching for me because I see the way Armando looks at the baby when he's holding him, and this could potentially wreck this and take him away from my son. If Brandon is Kalik's father, I will be crushed, and this will seal the fate for my whole family. You want Armando to be the father so badly. Absolutely. When you had the baby, Armando was there? Yes. Did Armando sign the birth certificate? No. This is what the man in your life had to say. Armando, watch. Taylor's like one in a million, you feel me? It's like she's my queen, you know? I don't even know this Brandon guy, but one thing I do know is I hope he is not the father. Kalik, regardless of what, is my little boy. I was there for everything. If Brandon is Kalik's father, I got no problem with him interacting with his child. I would never take that from him. But at the same time, I will have a problem with him having to interact with Taylor. Today is my birthday, and the best birthday present I can receive is more of you opening up that envelope and saying, Armando, you are the father. Because if not, you're going to be fireworks, and it ain't going to be good. Now, here's a guy who's thinking clearly. Welcome Armando to the show. Well, it sounds like you would want this to be your child, but you're going to be able to handle it either way. Yeah, either way. Listen, if she was pregnant before we got together, why would that change how I feel about it? You feel me? You know what I mean? It's not like she cheated and had a baby. You know what I mean? Well, this is what Brandon had to say. Watch. Taylor had the nerve to send me a text message one week ago saying she had a baby and I might be the father. I have one word for that. Outrageous. First off, she owed me a phone call with this type of news. Second of all, I'm pissed because I was kept in the dark for so long. I wasn't there for the pregnancy, the birth. This would be my first child. That baby and I never even met. I can't even believe I'm in this mess. If it's my child, I'll be there. But if it's not, I'm going to leave Taylor and her drama behind. Everyone, here's Brandon. Brandon, come on out. There he is. Hi, Brandon. How are you? Nice to see you. Welcome. Have a seat. Okay, let's get something straight. You have no problem with him, no, right? We, no, I see him around town. That's it. Okay, fine. Second, what you're upset about is you just found out. She said, you know, I just had a little boy, right? I said, well, congratulations. Good for you. She said, yeah, there's a chance he might be yours. This would be your first child? Yes. You would want to be in that child's life? Of course I will. I have no kids. That would be my first one. Well, let's find out. In the case of seven-week-old Kalik, Brandon, you are not the father. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and in the case of seven-week-old Kalik, Armando, you are not
when our cameras caught up with Taylor backstage. We were surprised to see Armando holding her in his arms. Do you have an idea who it is? Yes. You do? Is it someone I know? I'm asking. No, you don't know him. Do I know who I ever speak to the door? No. Oh, my. It don't matter, man. I'm not easy. No, it don't matter, man. The baby needs a father regardless if he knows who it is or not. Good. That's nice. Like I told you a million times, everything's still good, mommy. It's the way it was before we came here. We commend Armando for pledging to help to keep raising baby Kalik. And we wish everyone the best of luck. Deidre says there's only one other possible father, a man named Tony. <laughs> here's, here's the dilemma. Tony and his current fiance, Daphne, are completely denying that he's the father. How sure are you that he's the father? Maury, don't get me wrong. I know I've been here before, and I know things didn't work out with me and Cedric, but from day one, I knew that Tony was the father. I told him when I was pregnant that he was the father of my kids. Well, wait a minute. If that was the case, why did you bring Cedric on the show? Because he disappeared on me. He took off like the wind. Whoops, he was gone. I take off. I was there. I was do you right, think man. that, that he right. looks like your twins? Yes, I do. My three-year-old daughter looks just like his daughter. You see this? All this, that's him. That's him. All this, all this, that's him. That is him. That is Tony right there. So here's what happened. Everybody's got to understand this. So after the show, you went home. Mm -hmm. Tony called you up, didn't he? He called me once he saw the show. He called me, hit me up on Facebook, and gave me his number. And he said, they might be mine. He told, he told me when I daddy. talked to him, You're him and his you girlfriend. Don't know who your baby daddy is. What? I don't know who your baby daddy is. I don't know who your baby daddy is. Nobody talked to you. Nobody talked to you. Okay. Why did she even hear for? She need to shut a fat ass up. Okay. By the way, you know they have a child together. And my daughter looks just like their child. Really? He's gonna have. Okay. So he said he might be the father. Then all of a sudden, you know, he comes over. He thinks he's gonna be the father, and then he turns around and denies it. When he contacted me, he said. I I told my old lady when we was watching the show, if he's not the father, I'm the father. My twins have seen Tony one time when he brought their daughter to the park to play with mine. And she, what she got going on because whatever, our kids are, what, whatever. two, three months apart? You don't know. Be for real. You don't know. You don't know. Here's what Daphne said. First of all, everybody should know, when he came over there, y'all got intimate, didn't you? He called me every time he was calling me. It was she like baby me. this and baby that. He wasn't even no asking about my twins. Was he wasn't asking about my twins. Was and yeah, at a weak up. moment we did. But I guarantee you, the day right now he gonna learn today because I don't want nothing. To Here's what Tony and Daphne had to say. Watch. I am not the father of those twins. And even if I am, I want nothing to do with them. I watch the Maury show every day. I saw her test another dude. Then I heard there's a third guy in the mix, so I definitely don't want these to be my children. The angel is a hoe, and she was never my girl. I already have one, and that's my fiance, Daphne. Deidre is saying Tony is the dad for one reason, because she wants him. I don't think these are Tony's children, and I don't want them to be. We are a family, and I am pregnant from him right now. When she found out Daphne was pregnant, all she did was blew me up nonstop. I don't know how else to say it. I don't want to be with her. All this girl did was start problems. And today, Maury and the DNA test was solved in. Here they are, Tony and Daphne. Tony, why aren't you? 
Why aren't you, aren't you the father, Tony? Mara, I ain't the father of these kids. For one, she already had a dude that she brought on the show that she said that yeah, was yeah, there. Yeah, but he wasn't. But he then wasn't. she had another dude, oh, another man. Guy. How Where is these want? my kids? Where you want? No, no, Where you want? No, 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 This is not. This is not how we're going to get to. It. Now everybody, calm down. You look like those two. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. No, stop it. No, stop it, Deidre. No, that's you. 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 No. How you know? Maury, Maury, you, know? you Maury. Hey, hey, let her oh, okay. talk. Maury, this right here better. is the definition of a now and later <laughs> She gonna get <laughs> You think she's using these kids to break you all up, is that Yeah. It? Girl, That's I don't it. want him. We could be laying in the bed and she texts him. She called him. Daphne, if these are his kids. She gonna help her fiance and take care of him. Oh, it's not she gonna do it. It's not what she gonna do. It's not what she gonna do. I already got it. Guess what? We're gonna solve it right now. comes to three-year-old Amos. Tony, you are the father. Everyone, this is Sheila. Welcome, Sheila. To the and, and, I want, and we also have, we also have Sheila's boyfriend, Corey. Now, Sheila claims that Corey's cousin, who, by the way, is also named Corey, has destroyed her relationship because cousin Corey accused Sheila of having sex with her boyfriend, Corey's brother, Mike. Oh. And here's the problem. Corey, the boyfriend, now thinks possibly that their son Jaden may belong to his brother Mike. Oh. So the family cannot move forward unless they uncover the truth with a DNA test. This situation has damn near ruined my life and my family because Corey's cousin is spreading all these rumors and these lies about me. His cousin is trying to claim that he's seen Mike coming out of my bedroom late at night with his shirt off, and that is a damn lie. I would never do anything like that. Mike is like a big brother to me. I would never, ever, ever do anything inappropriate to jeopardize my relationship with Corey, and it is no way, it is impossible that he is Jaden's father. Jaden and Corey are inseparable. He taught Jaden how to walk, how to talk. He takes him to the park. He's always been by his side. And these rumors that are going around are tearing my family apart, and I just want my family back. Okay. So not only did Mike and Corey take a DNA test, but Sheila took a lie detector test. Yeah. And, and by the way, cousin Corey, He's here in the audience, and he stands by his claims that he witnessed Sheila cheating. Oh. 
on his car. You are really mad. I am very mad, Maury, because this is not only ruining my child's life, this is ruining my relationship with my boyfriend. We've been together for eight years, and this is just ridiculous. I shouldn't even have to go through this. So what did Cousin Corey say he saw? Maury, there's a difference between lies and reality. He claims... <laughs> He saw Mike coming out of my room one night with his shirt off, and it's, it's not true. My bedroom is right beside my bathroom. I would never do anything like that to his family, never. You also say that Sheila admitted something to you, didn't you? One day, we was in there, she was on the laptop. Her and Corey got in an argument. When he walked out, she made a statement. That's why I slept with your brother. Let's see what the lie detector is. Right. What you say? Why did you tell your cousin all this? Because that's my cousin, Moore, and it's two things that you got in this world, money and family. And when the money gone, you still gonna have family. We'll see what the lie detector say. We'll see what the lie detector say. And I'm hurt that you see. would say that about my, me because that is affecting do you, do you my child's life. you that baby is Not Mike's yours. Baby? My child's life. My child's life. To be honest with you, I don't know who baby is. She sleeps around with so many people. What does Jaden look like? Corey. Jaden looks like Corey. Just like him. Here's Corey. Yeah, let me go for a change. <laughs> do I know my show or do I know my show? <laughs> but this is serious because your relationship with your boyfriend depends on it. Yes. Your son, his father depends on him, yes. right? Jaden means everything to Corey. They're inseparable. Every time you see Jaden, you see Corey. Are you and Corey together? No, we are not. He left me for somebody else. Do you want to be with him? I do. I'm in love with him. I've been in love with him since seventh grade. Seventh grade, Marley. So Corey and Mike are backstage. This is what they had to say. Mike is my big brother, my mentor. He even taught me how to ride a bike. But if he's Jaden's father, I can never forgive him. He's dead to me. I'm angry with my cousins for spreading lies. The fact that Corey thinks I'm Jaden's father, that's beyond crazy. I ain't gonna be Corey. He ain't nothing but a drunk. I'm his brother. I'm his flesh. I'm his blood. They say blood is thicker than water, but in this case, it's not. Because I truly believe that Mike is Jaden's father. Jaden is my pride and joy. I told him how to walk, how to talk. I mean, I can't, I can't keep on that. My relationship with Sheila is basically over because of what my cousin told me. This is something I don't believe my family will ever overcome. Everyone, here's Corey. Corey, come on out. You love that boy? Of course. That's my son, man. I love him to death. You love your brother? I love my brother to death. You trust your brother? Yeah, my brother taught me how to ride a bike. He taught me everything I know. So, your brother said nothing went on, did he? Right, he said he did. But he my brother's he family. He was a lot more. Sit down, sit down. because of what my cousin told me. And, and you believe him over me? We've been together eight years, Corey. Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. You might as well bring out the rest of the family. You want to tell Here's Mike. Mike, come on out. Here's Mike. Of him. Yeah, man. Man, I want y'all to be honest now before the results even come. Man, if y'all did anything, let me know now, man. Ain't no, no need to play around the bush, man. Nothing at all. Nothing. The results, the results don't tell everything. The results don't tell everything. That man ain't seen me come out no um see the moon. Are you mad at him because he takes his cousin's word over yours? Yeah, man. He know me like the back of his hand, man. <laughs> so, we have the results of the DNA test. We have the results of the lie detector test. 
But Sheila, you wanted to tell Corey something first, didn't you? Yes, I do have something to tell him, and I feel like I need to get it off my chest because it's tearing my heart inside to keep this from him. And I just need to get it off my chest. You know I love you with all my heart. We've been together eight years, and you mean everything to me. Um, but I did make a mistake in our relationship, and I cheated on you, and Jaden may not be yours. What? You mean to tell me, you mean to tell me you got me take care of my son, and he may not be mine? I'm sorry. Who I'm was? so sorry. Who was? Was it Mike? Was it? No. Okay. I'm gonna never talk to my brother like that. Not long we go. So we have a DNA test. We have a lie detector test. <laughs> In the case of one and a half year old Jaden, Mike, you are not. <laughs> Tell me that. When it comes to one and a half year old Jaden, oh, Corey, no. you are not. <laughs> I know you're upset, but, I, but we want to be able to clear everything up. <laughs> we want to find out whether you and your brother, you and your brother, can have a relationship. Oh, wait, so, man, I love him. Oh, so I did the, we did the lie detector test, and here are the questions pertaining to your brother about the lie detector test, okay? We asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with Mike the night Corey's cousin saw him coming out of your room? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Oh, you got it. We asked you, did you admit to Corey's cousin that you had sexual intercourse with Mike? You said no. The lie detector test determined you were telling the truth. Told you. And we ask you, during your relationship with Corey, have you ever had any sexual contact of any kind with your brother, Mike? Sheila said no. The lie detector determined she was telling the truth. I told you. Oh, oh. Oh, go I love you, bro. Corey got to go. Okay. I don't, know, I don't know who the birth father is, okay? No. But this child's been in your life. Right. I don't know if you want him to continue in your life. I man, hope. that's my son regardless, but me and her, it's over, boy. It's over. Everyone, this is Nancy. Welcome, Nancy, to the show. Now, how about this story? For more than a year, Nancy was banned from seeing her very own sister, Amanda. Oh. Why would that be? You see, Nancy has been trying to expose Amanda's husband, Lewis, as a liar and a cheater. Not only, not only does Amanda believe that Lewis has been sleeping around with strange women, Nancy even suspects that Lewis has actually cheated with her other sister, April. And she dresses like a whore. We gave Lewis a lie detector test. We gave the... We gave the other sister, April, a lie detector yeah. test. Yeah. He banned you from the house. Yes. Why? He, he banned me because I know he's cheating. I know how she do, knows. How do you know that? You even think Lewis has made a hit on you. He has. Anytime, anytime I try to talk to him, he's staring at my chest. He's staring at my ass. He can't keep his eyes on my eyes. Any woman walks by, he's constantly looking. What's this about? What about this website he oh goes on? Oh my up? God! It's a prostitute site for our city. And, and I'm like, I went, Amanda. Oh my God, are you serious? You caught him on that? She's like, Yeah. And I don't even understand because there's numbers that I don't ma that don't match. Okay, all right, I understand, Nancy. Here is your brother-in-law, you. Lewis. Yes. Welcome, Lewis. Yes. Yeah, I was. Leather I was thinking of my son. Lewis, your my 
Yeah, so is a baby. Up, He's an infant. If Nancy, you want to do something for your Nancy, son, sit down. I'll talk to him. Okay. So, Lewis, nice to talk to you. Did you ban her from the house? Yes, I did. Why? Because well, he's cheating and he tired doesn't of... anybody What's to that? know. Tired of the crap. I don't want to hear the it. The crap is all yours. Ban yourself. I don't want no <laughs> Like when she comes around, there's a lot of drama at the house. There's so drama I don't want because I'm not going to let you do this to my sister. I <laughs> cheat on your sister. Don't want drama. Oh, what, don't what about you guys chasing me, following me from my have work? To follow you because you don't Following me from my phone. work. Now this is what's really important. Have you cheated with her other sister, April? Probably. No. Why would she move out? Quit being a loony. Why? 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 I'm a loony. You yeah, you're a loony. You care so, so when you much. Go out of town, why don't you shut up, bitch? Why don't you shut up? All you're doing is talking. It's your sister. All you're doing is talking. If you shut that's up. That's your sister. If that's my sister, then Nancy. tell me why she tried to keep my nephew out of my life. You cheat while you're out of town? Hell no. Uh, what do you do? Uh, why, why do I cheat? Okay. okay. Maureen, I you work don't. 12 hours a day. Right. From uh, 12 to 12. And right. you get off and you don't call off. your wife. Where do you, you go? You don't check on your son. Okay, listen to me. No, I don't need listen. to listen to you. I've been doing it for years. Once a week. Now we're here. Once a week, I now go to Denny's here. with my friends that I work yeah. with. Okay? okay? We don't go to bars. Okay. We don't go to okay. bars. We don't yeah. drink. Here's and Amanda, we Amanda we everybody. Lewis's wife, we Amanda, Nancy's sister. No, until you are you guilty, sit. until you're proven not, you can sit over there. Now, wait a second. <laughs> Amanda, you love this man. I do love him. You think he's cheating? Yeah. There is a lot of yes, evidence. You do. Yes, I do. Okay. I do believe tell so. Them, All right, tell forget, the yeah. forget about the porn site. I've been through that. Yeah, it's too He weird. says it, you know, he just looks, he doesn't touch. I don't right? believe that. There's free porn on for, online. There's tons of things to do. Morning. You don't have to. Turn it out as a joke, okay? Really? Okay, when we had a little bit of downtime at work, no, many no, guys no, would sit there and no, joke around. No, and look at okay, you okay, okay, so you can take phone. the time you to joke around on the porn phone. site, but not call your wife? So you had this dream, and you dreamt that your husband was sleeping with your other sister, April. Yeah. It was a dream. So yeah. if it's all me, why dreams. is she having the dream? I've had dreams that you, way, yeah. You're basing all this possibility on a dream? No, no. she dresses like a whore. Literally, <laughs> my husband, my yes. husband I want to find out for myself. He Here's April. You don't have to sit that far away. Okay. Why? If she's already oh, touched no, him please, once, please, she'll please, do it again. Please. Why don't you shut up? I it's called Lori, not Nancy. Oh, it's oh, it's oh, called oh, Lori, not Nancy. Nobody invited you. You invited Reason why did you bring my Why name up about at? a dream? They so wanted you dressing like a whore. Thank Thanks. you, Lori, for dressing Lori, her, because she probably would have came naked. What can I say? April. Why not? They're you would not destroy there. this family by sleeping with Lewis. No, no. And honestly, no, but she'll dress like a whore in front of him, which I've like seen. Jealousy, so Nancy, I that sounds like jealousy. That sounds like no, jealousy. No. Really? Keep calling me a whore. April. Oh, I know. I already We're, took the test. Why don't you stop even talking? If you didn't stop take the talking. test. You still dress stop like a whore. Will you shut up for I don't five need to. Are you serious? During your relationship with Amanda, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> no. See? See? You were asked the time you disappeared for two weeks. Was it because you were having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Come on. No, no. Lewis was asked, 
During your relationship with Amanda, Lewis, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Amanda's sister, April? You said no. The lie detective determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I tried that. I never do anything like that. You're an ass. I can wear yeah. what I want. That doesn't April. make me a cheater. You have your wrist. Wait like a second. Your sister's husband. Take down advice. Quit trying to your sister's husband's too. I'm not. April, you were asked, do you secretly want to be with Amanda's husband, Lewis? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. I would, I, I would say to you, Amanda, take April's view in, 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 into She's your thoughts, sure. okay? Sure. And that is that right. April feels that for the last year, Lewis has been a good guy. He's trying. Yeah, he's, he's and I've been like a good guy. <laughs> Nancy, you allow her to give this guy another chance. No, I told her to. Okay, no. fine. After the show. No one invited you here. All the drama between these three sisters continued. I'm not yeah, Why don't you get a light? You, you did this. You did this. Bye. 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 And when April and our cameras found Lewis outside our studio. Lewis, don't walk away from her. Seriously, don't walk away. She pleaded with Lewis to work things out with his wife, Amanda. Your love has I'm, not stopped now. My house. No, you're I'm going to. No, you're not. Because then that makes you look guilty. You are going to fight for your wife. The I've never take cheated her, on you. Take her I've away from Nancy. I've never cheated on you. Her. Get away from her. Let them talk. Never. Nancy, you seriously. You stop and let her work on her marriage. It's her life. At that point. I need you two to step out, sure. step out for a second. I agree. Lewis and Amanda were left alone to deal with the results of the lie detector test. During your relationship with Amanda, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. That was a lie. <laughs> Which determined he has cheated on his wife. I've never cheated on you. That is fake. fake. It's fake. Those are it's real. Fake. You have an opportunity right now. She will forgive you and she will work with you and she will not leave you. No, I've never cheated on my wife. You keep denying stuff. You failed. You could either tell me the truth or I'm gone. I've I mean, never cheated on you. I'm gone. Never cheated on you. I love you. I love you, Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. Where's the car, man? Come on. Yeah, keep, keep, whatever. It looks like this marriage is in big trouble. Everyone, this is Candy. Welcome, Candy. <laughs> I have to say, uh, be, because you'll understand, Candy's 42 years old, but her boyfriend is 21. Oh! That's, that's Derek. See? Now, they, they've been boyfriend girlfriend for three years. That means since Derek was like 18. Oh! But despite the age difference and everything, Candy really thought that the relationship was strong. Until recently, when all of that changed, when she found a pair of thong underwear in Derek's jacket. <laughs> then she finds that uh, Derek has been coming home smelling like Irish Spring. <laughs> and, and the reason is, and the reason that's funny is that. That Candy says the only soap that she allows in the house is ivory. It's ivory, Mari. This is all I use. You should smell the difference, Mari, because right. it is a difference. Ten years I've been using that, and then he came home smelling like that. And I, that's perfume smelling there. Perfume? You oh, smell that, it? Yeah, that's a little perfume. Yeah, exactly. And I, any, any room in my Ivory's house, any like, room in my like... house, you're gonna smell ivory in my bathroom, not ivory spring. <laughs> So I here, love this man. So I here, love him so uh, you, you much. love him. I love him. You so love much. him. You're down to smelling soap for crying yeah, out loud. I am. Yeah, I am. I am. You know what, Mari? You know what, Mari? You look. He is not gonna come in my house and slither in my bed smelling like this. Candy, I gotta be honest with you. Okay. You're 42. Yes. He's 21. Yeah. That's double. Uh -huh. And you wanna know what I'm doing with him, right? Yeah. Having more sex and more fun than <laughs> ever.
Nobody would fault you for that. You know what, Murray? I have more sex with him than I would with a man your age, and no offense. <laughs> yeah. 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 And everything's been fine. Until? Until he came in the house one day, you know, and I'm like, okay, where you been? He like, oh, I was with my guys. He threw his coat on the floor. I pick it up, that's when a little funky thong fell out. <laughs> He was in there sleep. I went in the room and slapped him woke. And then, when I went in the room, when I went in the room, yeah, yeah. When I went in the room, when I went in the room and slapped him woke, he waking up like the sun is out. He don't sun here. Where these come from? <laughs> What's wrong with you? I mean, I mean, yeah, because I, I, I am, I must admit, Mark, I am a true I, cougar. I am. You're a cougar. I am. <laughs> You like young guys. I love me something young. I don't want nothing old but some wrinkled up money. It can even be two in the front. Where did he say those scratches on his back? He said he got four nephews, which he do. He got four nephews. He said they be jumping all on his back and all this, and he had scratches. <laughs> but guess what? Let me tell you, Mark. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what I did. Let me tell you what I did. When I, when I, when I felt the scratches on his back, I'm like, okay. I went and got my magnifying glass, turned them around, and looked at his back. And they were fingernail scratches. They was like somebody holding you like that. He gave him a lie detector test, and okay, here's what Derek told my friend. It doesn't matter how old Patty is. Ace is just a number. She's not just my soulmate. We'll still be together long after we're gone from this earth. Candy found thong underwear in my jacket. That's because my friends was playing a prank on me. Sometimes I feel like Candy is my warden because I always have to check the clock to make sure I'm home on time. Candy is always sniffing me like a bloodhound, trying to find evidence that I'm cheating, but I never have. It hurts me a lot that she has these accusations. Her relationship is all about trust and understanding, and me and Candy should have those things. Derek, come on out. <laughs> Here. What's up? I've never seen this on my show before. Yeah, when you leave, you smell like that. When you come back, you smell like that. Nah, nah. So you saying my senses is wrong? Yes. You love this woman? Of course I love her. I love her. I love she's her. Not, you giving me she's not like a mother figure for you, right? No, no, she's a woman. She's, she's a my woman. <laughs> you know? um, where'd that where'd that thong underwear come from? The thong underwear? Yeah, where'd that come from? To be honest, I don't even know. I You're... think one of my friends... I think one of my... Right. I, I think one of my... Right. 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 Honestly, right. honestly, I think one of my friends put that there. And those okay. scratches on your back came from your nephew. Yeah, I got four nephews and we wrestled. You know? Somebody, somebody no, got to no, teach them no, how to fight, so we be wrestling, Mark, play, you know fight. What? Just like your life tech test don't lie, this magnifying glass don't lie. When I say it was scratches from a one. <laughs> All right, Candy, you wanted the whole truth. Exactly. So last night, we wanted to take things a bit further. <laughs> what? And we put Derek in a green room <laughs> with one of our decoys. <laughs> oh, hell no! to find out the whole I truth. Can't you Candy. Did this. Candy. Oh my god. We got the answers to the <laughs> okay, come on, Mar. We asked you does the orange and black thong found in your jacket belong to a woman you had sexual intercourse with? You said no. The lie detector determined you are telling the truth. Okay, one. 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 We asked one. you have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Candy during your relationship with her? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie more than <laughs> Read that again, Murray. I'm sorry. 
Sorry. You had sexual intercourse with anybody but you. Since you all been together, the lie detector determined that was a lie. You had sex with more than five women more than 20 times. <laughs> Hey, wait a sec. <laughs> Candy. Uh, Candy, let me finish this up. Let me finish this up. Come here. We asked you, Derek, when you come home smelling like a different kind of soap, is it because you're having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined... That was a lie. What? No, 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 We asked no, you, man. do you want to marry... It's over! It's over! We asked you, we asked you, do you want to marry Candy? You wouldn't answer the question. You don't want to marry me? I mean, yeah, it's but not over. right now, though. Get your ass, let us over with! After the show, Candy was extremely upset. Leave. Paul Fallhaber brought these two together to see if there was any way Derek could save this relationship. Let's start with the truth, okay? Let's start with the truth. Let's start. With the truth. Just admit it. You it already out. Let's start. With the truth. It's already out. Just tell the truth. She's been really good to you. You're yeah, right. You're she right. She deserves man. the truth. Just tell her. Alright, I admit it. Okay, and I admit it's over. It looks like 42-year-old Candy has dumped her 21-year-old boyfriend, Derek. Any man out there looking for a good woman, here I go. We wish Candy the best of luck. Everyone, this is Jamie. Welcome Jamie to the show. <laughs> Jamie admits that for a time in her life, she lived a fast life as an exotic dancer. <laughs> then, then, she met, then she met her boyfriend, Frank, who took her out of the club scene and into his home because she was homeless at the time. But, you know, uh, fast habits die hard sometimes because during a brief separation from Frank, Jamie slept with Frank's best friend, Jimmy. Oh! Why she's here today is because Jamie has a seven-month-old son named Bentley. Oh! The problem is she doesn't know which of these two men is the baby's father. Watch. When I was growing up, nobody loved me. I had no family. I needed to support myself. I had to start exotic dancing. I had no other option. I quit dancing for Frank. I got my life back, and I made the worst mistake of my life. Me and Frank were having problems. I loved him for three weeks, and I slept with his best friend, Jimmy. Shortly after, I found out I was pregnant. And I told him I'm not sure who the father is. Bentley is seven and a half months old. And Frank has been there since day one. He is Bentley's father. If Frank is not the father, it's going to not only destroy his heart, but it's going to destroy mine, too. OK, all you guys out there, when you and your girl have a separation, do not send your best friend to check up on her. That's what happened. Yeah, me and Frank had split up for about three weeks, and while we wasn't together, um, he sent his friend to the club to check on me, see how I was doing, and we got drunk. Um, we went to a motel. One thing led to another. We ended up sleeping together twice. So all during your pregnancy, Frank was there? Yes. And he was there at the birth? Yes. And he raised his Bentley? Yes. He is a great father. He don't... <laughs> This is, this is what Frank had to say. Watch. I cannot believe the woman that I love and my best friend betrayed me the way that they did. I saved Jamie from a horrible life and showed her what it was to love. When she slept with Jimmy, she took a little piece of my heart and broke it. I've been in Bentley's life since day one, and I love that baby. But every time I look at him, I wonder, is this Jimmy's child? If he's not mine, I don't know if our family can survive this. Here's Frank, everybody. Welcome, Frank. Wow. 
I didn't expect you. I didn't expect you to be this upset. It hurts, Maury. I mean, there's there's nothing in the world that hurts like that, you know. And I've heard sorry, sorry, sorry for seven months, you know. And the things I've done for this woman. I read the wrong answer, Frank. Does that mean you're out of Bentley's life? No, I will always be in Bentley's life. Here's Jimmy, everybody. Welcome, Jimmy. Obviously, your relationship with Frank is, is different, right? Obviously, yes, Maury. How come you crossed that line? There really ain't no excuse. There, there's no excuse, and there's nothing that can really make up for it. You know, I mean... You think you're Bentley's father? No, I really don't think that, but you never By know. By the way, you are in this little child's life, aren't you? Yes. As kind of an uncle. An uncle. I mean, what you did to me was horrible. It's betrayal. I can't, I, it was more than betrayal than what you did, Jimmy. I mean, you were supposed to be my brother. You were supposed to be my brother, and I, and I don't know, I mean, being a brother, I don't know if, if we can get past that. I mean, we were like brothers. We're, we're like this close to even not even being friends. I mean, how long have do we you known understand each other? What, I know that can't make up for it, Do you it, understand Frank, but... what, I mean, what that did to me, though, man? You know, I mean, this was my girlfriend. Not yours. Not your girlfriend. You know what I think? I think if it works out right, Frank, you're going to be able to forgive and forget. I hope so. If it works out wrong, I don't know what can happen here. But I'm hoping for the best because I like families to stay together. Okay? When it comes to seven-month-old Bentley, Jimmy, you are not the father. And when it comes to seven-month-old Bentley, Frank, you are not Jimmy, I know, I know this is Jimmy. All right, it's an honest mistake. You thought he was the father. The problem is, can you repair your relationship with Frank? Is he prepared for this? Now that means there's an, a, another man out there. I mean, that, that I didn't even know that. I mean, I yeah. thought it was just, you know, between I understand. Me and him. I understand. I understand. I mean, I, and, 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 I mean, is there three, four, I, five, I, six? I, I don't know. I, Jamie's going to have to think about it. I mean, Go where back. Do we, where's the side? Was there? I mean, you didn't even tell me about the third one. You are not the father. <laughs>